Y'all ready? Everything I said I do, I did I'm good I'm good Everything I said I do, I did Man, y'all already knew, man Chillin' in the hood, man Seven wall shit, man You heard me shout out some village love, man Production, y'all already knew, man Chillin' in the hood, just ordinary shit, though Got a lot of shit in the kitchen, cooking up some new work, you hear me? Mixtape coming soon, very shortly, you hear me? I don't know no date for it, though, but you know, I ain't known no sorry for the weight shit, but you know, 700 shit, free eat, it's eat birthday today, you hear me? Free my bro, man, he had to be in that bitch locked up, you know, I don't know what it was, man, 700. So where you grew up, but where you from? Oh man, I grew up on Freshman, man. Freshman and Roman, man. I done seen a lot of shit here. My people, new people. You got new people, new people out here, though. Like, you know, everything is real out here, you hear me? This is seven of this, you know, this one of a kind. You hear me? A million dollar people get born here and go blow up and go expand, you hear me? Go put on for, you know, for the hood and shit, you hear me? I'm gonna forever put on for the hood, you hear me? And that's all deep, seven wall shit. For really do, seven wall shit. I snuck and got this one out 14, man. <laughs> Last <laughs> album, when she said that stuff, she knew the seven out of Why they go find your music again? Yeah? Oh, yeah, man, nigga, about to have that shit on YouTube, you hear me? I'm about to have my shit, my links on SoundCloud, you hear me? I'm about to have that on my mixtape. And, you know, when I get that eye dad, I'm going to have that on Apple Music, too, you hear me? Y'all can go download that for me, you hear me? But I'm working on that mixtape, Watch Out Ops, too. I ain't forget about that. And yeah, I got an album, that bitch called World War 7. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even wanna see that one, but I had yeah. to see that one. World <laughs> War 7, New Orleans and Seven War, y'all better go do the research for your speed first on the hood, you hear me? Yeah. Real shit, dude, yeah. So, Ma, what, what is Ma 7? Ma yeah, 7? Yeah, Ma 7. Ma 7? Mm-hmm. So, Ma 7, how serious are you about this rap, this music? This hip hop. I'm really serious about what I'm doing. Like, see, I done been through a lot of shit. Niggas be hating. I done gotta go back and forth to court for this gun I had. You hear me? Got jammed up with and shit. So you know, I'm just trying to have this shit. Like, you know, all in one order. Father, just follow the steps. God gonna lead for me. You hear me? That's all I'm just trying to do. Like, I'm just trying to make sure that I get right for my people to get right. All it takes is one to blow for everybody to blow. So is this a hobby, a job, or is it just something for you to do on the side? Yeah, it's all, it, it could be all of them above, because, like, I know how to spit. You hear me? I really do know how to spit, and, like, I feel like I got to take this serious, because this something I've been doing. Like, I used to be going, when I was little, I used to get, like, little spoons and be saying I'm rapping with the hat to the side and shit. Like, you could ask my mom, like, this shit, like, it run through the family and shit, you hear me? Yeah, like this shit really real, 700 shit, man. 7 more shit forever. So, so what kind of music do you like? Oh yeah, like the type of music I like to listen to, like I like to listen to like Cheap Keep, you hear me, like Lil Dirt. Like, you know, I can't forget New Orleans, so the Slim, Lil Wayne, like, I listen to all Lil, I mean, I listen to all New Orleans shit, you hear me, man? like, Lil Wayne, that's the GOAT, like, Tupac and, you know, Biggie, they icons, but Lil Wayne, like, he did everybody's song and remix, they really punished that bitch like it was the original. So what you really, so what you really looking to accomplish? What I'm looking to accomplish is just to get my music, get my money right, get my music, get my money right, and just, you know, it's not about me trying to get signed or nothing, it's just about me just trying to let people know what I've, you know, been through, like, rapping is a story that you put in one form like a puzzle, and you're just trying to figure out an outcome, you know? that's how it is, you know? So what, so what kind of music, like, do you, like, what kind of music do you make? Like, the type of music I, I make, like, like music for people, like, who's going through it, like, who feel like they got to hustle for what they need, like, they got to work hard, like, they been through a lot, like, chill, like, you know, a lot of stuff, like, family situations, a lot, so it takes me to go in that school and do those things, and just let it all, you know, Relief in that microphone. That's how I feel like just relief everything I got in my chest out to that mic. Yeah. Is there anything else besides rap? You know what I'm saying? Well, can you sing? 
If, if, if the people wanted you to sing, be like, you know what, man? Whoop a love song, God for us all. You know what I'm saying? Sing some shit right there. I sing the Cardi B and my bitch behind me. I sing to them two and shit. Like, if I was to go have no hit a, you know, hit a note for, for him, I'd hit one for him, but. I don't know how to hit one of them bitches, but let Cardi be around and get in my feet. I'm hitting one of them bitches for him, for real. <laughs> oh, no, I agree. Shit, I'll whip something too for you. <laughs> tell you, look, look. What's that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what all people did you work with? If, what, have you worked with anybody in the city of New Orleans? Yeah, hey, man. Damn, like, major people and all that, but you know, like, I, I fuck with people in my hood who, you know, doing the same craft as me. So if they doing music, they doing music. So if they doing basketball, I'm going to support them because they doing basketball. That's somebody out the hood, you know, trying to grow up. They got a, a different talent. Like, everybody talent different. You hear me? Like, do you want to become successful or you want to become, f like, just... Yeah, like... like just, just, just famous. Yeah, uh, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, you know... That hood fame, that's gonna that's gonna grab attention. Like if you known from in the hood and you start doing something, somebody gonna support you just cause you're snapped, like you're status by people knowing you. It could be niggas hating on you, uh niggas who know you, like you know. Yeah, man, his niggas. Huh? My phone though. So who you think is so who you think the best rapper is out there right now? Like what like what rapper do you in your era do you feel like alright I can say that such and such like holding it down right now? Like who holding it down right now in the rap industry to you? Really holding it down that's who alive, the Wayne. Why I see Lil Wayne like like look at it like this man did everybody beat. Like everybody, like Birdman played on him. Birdman, he must see it. Like Lil Wayne, like he had to apologize to this man for playing on him with his braid too. Cause he know Lil Wayne lyrical. Like nobody could think that shit this man could say. Nobody. And I can stand behind that shit. It's just a new all this breed. For real. I wish I could spit like that. You hear me? Yeah. But Chad, I fuck with Cali though. Shout out man, you be Cali too, bro. My dude be coming with that smoke too. Yeah. We got a lot of people from New Orleans be coming with that smoke, man. Alright, um So all right, all right. What's up? 504 in the building. Mile 7 in the building. What's up with you, man? Yeah. Listen, where you from? I'm out the seven of them, man. Freshman street, man. Freshman in Rome street, yeah. Where can hit that? Like what? Where can people find your music? People can find my music on YouTube, SoundCloud, they go on Apple Music, you know. Oh, let's about to be on that. Watch out, I'll be the next day, dude. Then after that, I'm going to set it out. You think you get a uh, cop over some type of what? So yeah, I'm gonna be sending them links real soon. I just got, I just had computer little problems and shit, but I got the studio shit on the window, so I'm about to be you know, having that shit downloaded for a lot of, a lot of y'all. So when you, so when you about to make a song, like what run through your mind? Like what run through my mind is like I gotta remember the lyrics before I can go hit the video soon, before I can keep it. Peace. Oh, so you write your music? Before, so you write your yeah. music? At oh, first, right. I write my shit, uh, then sometimes I freestyle my shit, but, like, for me, I feel like I could do both, like, because writing, you got to sit time and think. When you freestyle, you still thinking, but that writing, you really writing your expressions and, you know, what's in your mind, what's in your melody. Mm, for real, though. So what made you get into the music industry? What made you want to pursue a career in, in uh, making music? I ain't gonna stand like with this making music shit. I used to be the captain of snub drum at 42. Like, I always did have that rhythm. So, everybody who knew me, they knew I was fucking with some type of music, whether it was drumming, anything. Like, what I it always do. did fuck with that music shit. What it do. Yeah, for real. That music, that music really, you know, 
that bring out a lot of people emotions too. <laughs> it really do. For real. Look, it been it been like it been at least like uh, I say like 10, 11, 8 years since Hurricane Katrina. What difference do you see? Know what I'm saying? What you think? Know what I'm saying? What you see now that the, the storm is over with? Know what I'm saying? And it left the damages and it, and, and it destroyed the city. Know I'm saying? What changes do you see? What? How you feel about the city of New Orleans at this point? Man, August 29, 2005, that was Hurricane Katrina. I was round the corner. I didn't see so much of fucking water hit the seven wall. It was like a disaster. Oh, so y'all didn't leave? No, we didn't leave. We stood down here. We were supposed to leave, but everybody was going off the man, the the, the weather man of the news. So he, <laughs> he wasn't really exposing and saying it was going to be categorical. And that's how it was. In San yeah. Goliath, though, when, when we heard about it, shit, we went. When man, my people heard about that shit. We man, we heard about that shit like uh, early in the morning. The same fucking day they wanted, the yeah, same man. day they put it on the news. You know, they didn't give us a, a heads up, a warning. Now they say, man, get y'all shit and yeah. go. It's like, you know, but fuck, yeah. some people ain't. You know what I'm saying? Some people left. Some people didn't. Fuck. You know what I'm saying we ain't go too far ourselves, dog. But yeah, dog. Mar Seven in this building. Y'all already know who yeah, the fuck man. it is. Yeah, South Village Love Productions in here. Y'all already knew, man. Shout out to South Village Love Productions, man. Y'all already knew. Seven Wall shit, man. They got ten it all in the Seven Wall, man. Whether you, I gotta say, I got, yeah, hold on. I gotta say something for the youth. If you in first grade, kindergarten, high school, about to go to college, stay in school. Stay in school. As more as you stay in school, them people gonna always look at you like, they gonna always look at you like you're trying to be something. You gotta be something. You hear me? Like, every day is about getting a dollar so you can get it the right way or the wrong way. All money ain't good money, so that's why I see it. You can hustle on the block and you could be working or you could just do either up. But, yeah, hey, this life shit real. Like, this yeah. shit real. I'm saying people out of town saying New Orleans slow. They, uh, they saying all kind of shit, man. Like, I'm, I'm saying what you... How you feel about that? Like, you know what I'm saying, I feel about that yeah. Other, other countries, I mean, other states, I mean, yeah, other cities saying, other states saying, New Orleans country and shit. Look, if a tourist come on bourbon right now, a bad, a bad female, I'm gonna call her a bad bitch, a bad female, she just come on, on, you know, on Canal or something. You hear me? She won't joke, she won't hear our accent, she gonna want us to talk. Not that we, Sound like we slow, it's gonna see like how our accent is. Cause you know, we the only one shit, you heard me? Uh, how, how they say we say baby, they like our accent and shit, you heard me? Like, hey, we don't do this purpose, this, this natural, this New Orleans culture, you heard me? Look, I say I'm chilling in the seven where this shit get wicked. If you come in the seven, you better have permission. Cause my niggas in this bitch and they did a long sentence. And we don't give a fuck with freedom sevens out that prison. Like I see the deaf man that sit around and listen. Every set I'm been on, only Frenchman. Yeah, you already know the seven getting wicked, but I ain't even tripping. Stay out of the hot kitchen. Yeah, the police whipping they crews and this shit. That's why I gotta hurry up and maneuver so quick. But I don't even give a fuck on the field. It's a blitz. Yeah, I'm on that motherfucking wall and same shit. You heard me? You already know them battle in the arena. Shit ain't been the same before Hurricane Katrina. I mean, after Katrina, you know how it get through. But I ain't even tripping. I want a hoe in the bad condo. And I don't give a fuck. I probably meet a family. She said she want to go to Miami. I'm blowing Cali. Blowing Cali gas straight from the end. The bitch won't hit the smoke. I hit her with that soap. And no, no, <laughs> bitch, no.